Well, their men trained for emergencies, but without the proper equipment or training, they were forced to stand idle. Now, thanks to grant money, firefighters in Clarksville, Indiana, are working to change that. WLKY's Lauren Adams suited up with them and has more on the story you'll only see on WLKY. I'm giving him a three tug signal to surface so I can communicate with him. On the other end of this line is a diver looking for a body. We're waiting to see if he surfaces with it. Watch what happens as the diver, who has been in the water nearly 20 minutes, makes the recovery. But in this instance, that body is plastic. This is a training exercise for the Clarksville Fire Department. Now, thanks to grant money, the department will not only handle fire, but rescue. Diver under. Clarksville's deputy fire chief, James Hendricks, says in the past his men have responded, only to wait for dive teams to arrive. It's very frustrating. Very frustrating not to be able to. To, to basically become a spectator until somebody more qualified can be there. No longer spectators. These men are preparing for the real deal. So every minute counts. Top side, the blue diver, you're at, you're at about nine minutes. And every breath is monitored. It's just good practice. It's, it's more about, it's not rewarding yet. It, you know, it, 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 you just know you can do it when you need to is the main thing. This is the team's 35th dive, and it's being held at Deem Lake. The focus of this dive is search and recovery, but it hasn't been easy because out here the visibility is next to zero. You go down just a few feet, and you can't see anything. What's your visibility right now, Blue Diver? Uh, I can barely see my hand in front of my face. It's obstacles these men may soon encounter, but hope they never do. When we're having a day that, of, of doing what we're training for, somebody else is having the worst day of their life, so we absolutely don't want to see that. That was Lauren Adams reporting. Now, to date, the men have completed four tests. They'll take a fifth one Friday, and then they will be certified.